Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we talk about coordinate geometry circle functions. So let's consider a circle. So for example, in this xy coordinate, we have the origin 0, 0 at the center of the circle. And we draw a circle with radiance 5. If we pick any point, say we pick a random point x, y from the circle, and we know by Pythagorean, we're going to have x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Because this is a random point on the circle, so this is basically the equation of a circle. So the equation of a circle will be x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Then let's see some variations. So for example, if we have a circle with center at 2, 3, and if we pick a random point x, y, we know by Pythagorean, we're going to have x minus 2 square. This is x minus 2, and this is y minus 3. So x minus 2 square plus y minus 3 square is r square. So this is the equation of a circle centered at 2, 3. So basically, if given this equation, we're going to say this is a circle function, and the circle centered at 2, 3, and the radiance is r. OK. Now let's see. So this is from school math. Um, the equation above defines a circle in the xy plane. What are the coordinates of the center of the circle? So we have to change this form into like x minus something square plus y minus something square equal to r square, this general form. So we change it by using completing the square. So we take x square plus 20x out. We should consider what number shall we add here to make it perfect square. So we know we should add 20 divided by 2 square, which is 100. So we add 100. And because we add 100, we should uh, add 100 on the other side. So let's first copy negative 20. And then because we plus 100 on the left hand side, so we should plus 100 on the other side to make it equal. So this will change into x plus 10 square. Then we do the same thing with y. So for y, it's y square plus 16y. So we know we should add 64 to make it into a perfect square. And then we add 64 on other side of equation. So now it changes into this to become 144. So now you can see 144 is 12 square. This is actually r square. So the radius of the circle is 12. And then the center is basically negative 10 and uh, negative 8. It's like x minus negative 10 square plus y minus negative 8 square equal to r square. So the center is negative 10 and the negative 8. Let's see another one. Same idea, completing the square. So in the xy plane, the graph is a circle. What's the radius? So let's do completing the square. Uh, let's first copy it to here. And then this one, we should take out, uh, basically, we can divide by 2 on both sides of the equation. So divide by 2, this change into x squared minus 3x. And this become y squared plus y. This is 45 over 2. OK, now that we have to add uh, 3 over 2 squared. And we add a 1 over 2 square. So this is plus 9 over 4 plus 1 over 4. OK, now that we have this is x minus 3 over 2 square. This is y plus half square. It's equal to this is um, 10 over 4, so 5 over 2. And in total, this is 50 over 2, so 25. So now that we can see clearly, this is a circle equation with center at 3 over 2 and the negative 1 over 2. 
and the radius, the radius is 5, 5 square, so the radius is 5. Okay, so now that you have known the general idea of equation of a circle, now let's see some real math contest questions. So this is from 2017 10A, problem 17. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So here we can see this is clearly a circle equation. So we're going to draw a circle with radians 5. And uh, we have PQRS lies on the circle. Um, the distance PQ over RS are a rational number. What's the greatest possible value of the ratio PQ over RS? So RS should be as small as possible. So you can see it's an uh, irrational number as small as possible. So it, this is, must be RS. And the RS is just uh, the length of RS is 1 square plus 1 square, square root. This is root 2. Okay, now we just need to find the longest length of PQ. So PQ, it seems to be like this or like this. Okay, so let's calculate. First, if it's these two points, it's going to be 7 square plus 7 square square root, which is 7 root 2. If it's, if it's 3, 4, and the negative 4, negative 3, it's going to be 6 square plus 8 square square root, which is 10. But here it said it's an irrational number, so we should delete 10 which means the maximum value of PQ is 7 over 7 times root 2. And then this divide by this, we got the answer is 7. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is from 2018 10A, problem 21. This one is a bit harder. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. Let's first draw the graph. So we know this is a circle with radius A, and this is a parabola with a vertex at negative A, and it's symmetric with the y-axis. So they will have exactly three points, intersections. Okay, what's the restriction of A? So um, now we see the graph. Let's say we have x squared plus y squared equal to a squared. And here we have y equal to x squared minus a. And uh, let's change this one into x squared equal to um, y plus a. And uh, put back into this one. So y plus a plus y squared equal to a squared. And uh, this is a quadratic equation, so we change into y squared minor uh, plus y um, plus a minus a squared. This is a quadratic equation. So the so the root we can use quadratic equation, which is negative one plus minus b squared minus four ac. So minus four a plus four a squared divide by two. And the inside this is. The inside is actually 2a minus 1 square if you factor it. So then square root. So this part become 2a minus 1. So now we get the two root. Let's write the two root. The first root is plus 2a minus 1 divide. So it's 2a minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2. So one root we get a, a minus 1. This is one root. The other root is negative 1 minus 2a plus 1 divided by 2, which is negative a. So you can see negative a is this root. That means the other two roots is a minus 1, a minus 1. Okay, so now that we get x equal to, uh, I mean y equal to a minus 1, y equal to a minus 1. And let's put, put it back into the equation. So here we have x squared 
equal to a minus 1 plus a, which is 2a minus 1. So we know x squared should be um, greater than 0, right? x squared, because here x is not equal to 0, so then x squared is greater than 0, which means 2a minus 1 should be greater than 0. So the restriction of a is just a greater than half. Okay, so this one, um, if you draw this graph, you will have a better understanding than you solve by quadratic equation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next lecture.